What's up, YouTube? Do you guys like my new truck? Psych, I'm just playing. It's the shop truck. If you guys saw my video last night, you guys saw me driving it home. It's got four doors for more whores. How awesome is that? Anyways, guys, I'm making this video uh, because, well, I heard from Golf Diesel Injection. Finally, the dudes called me. Uh, it was Scott, and uh, he apologized about the wait time and everything that was going on. He said that he was super busy. And, uh, the camera's gonna be really shaky, man. This is really annoying. So he cut me a deal, which was really awesome, and it saved me a little bit of money. But the other reason why I'm making this video is because obviously I'm not driving my Jeep. I want to continue uploading videos and making videos for you guys about the Jeep and the Jeep lift and the, you know, the axle, the whole nine yards. I ran into an issue with the track bar. If you guys watched the last video, you heard me say something to Matt when he mentioned doing the uh, front end that night. Well, the track bar, um, it has a flex joint at the end and it's a male flex joint and it threads into the actual track bar itself. Uh, the flex joint goes into the uh, sheer track bar mount that they they make. Uh, most companies make a you know their own version of it. They all look the same. But anyways, it wouldn't thread in. So I had to go jump through hoops with Iron Rock and figure out what I needed to do about getting a new track bar. After emailing their customer service back and forth, after several phone calls and a video to my uh, Instagram, everything was straightened out. They're sending me a new track bar, a new flex joint, a jam nut, all the hardware for the track bar. And I didn't include this when I was talking about it earlier, but um, I think during shipping FedEx or somebody damaged one of the boxes because one of them were ripped, like they ever stacked up on each other or, or something got caught in it or something. And um, it ripped my bag of hardware in the box, so I lost some hardware too. Frustrating enough, we were looking all over. Um, it was just kind of a big ordeal. Long story short, we're straightened out. Everything's all good. I should have a new track bar and all my hardware by Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. So it's gonna put my Jeep off for a little while. And uh, I'm driving the shop truck, so I'm not minding about that, but I do want a wheel, so. Yesterday when I was filming on the way home, my camera ended up dying, or my phone, so I didn't get to finish this, guys, so I want to finish this now. Did you guys hear that? It's a Nissan Ultima. Jesus, Lord, bro. Expecting content, guys, is coming up in the next few days. Um, for right now, it's just going to be a little bit of a break, and I wanted to bring you guys this update and let you know what was going on and uh, not leave you guys hanging out and wondering why I haven't uploaded in a couple days. So with that being said, guys, thank you for checking out the video. I know it was short and sweet, and when I get uh, my track bar and the injection pump in, you guys will be the first to know. Thank you guys, later.